Okay, if you want to see something like this, then tomorrow morning you may want to step outside and look to the skies above the capital. It's when the UK will experience a partial solar eclipse as the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. Jamie Morland went to meet some amateur astronomers looking forward to the big moment, including a face you might recognise. With their eyes to the skies, these amateur astronomers in Hampstead are looking forward to a unique sight. A partial solar eclipse as the moon passes between us and the sun. They're quite rare solar eclipses. That is the most amazing cosmic coinkydink, that we just happen to be here at the time when that is the case. We can expect the main event between about 10.30 and 11.30 tomorrow morning. But what will it look like? This is the Hampstead Cook Telescope. It's a six inch refractor. That is the disk of the sun there. And on Thursday, you'd expect to have about that much of the sun missing. We'll only see about 20% of the sun covered by the moon, like this site in Costa Rica from 2017. But even if you don't have a huge telescope, it's easy to watch. Just make sure you do so safely. So uh, number one rule about eclipses is do not look directly at them. It will damage your eyes. So you need either proper eclipse glasses, which you can buy online, or you can even make a simple eclipse viewer yourself using just two pieces of card and a pin. You just poke a small pinhole in one. And then what you do is you need to line yourself up so that the sun is roughly at your back and sort of figure out where you want to hold the card that has the pinhole in it. And then you put the other card just on the ground so that you can see the projection of the sun onto that little piece of card there. Someone taking time out of their work to see the spectacle is comedian and impressionist John Coulshaw with special solar binoculars. I was hooked on astronomy from, uh, I watched an episode of The Sky at Night, Patrick Moore speaking very, very fascinatingly. I want to begin by showing you a rather splendid picture. This is a galaxy, a system made up of thousands of millions of suns. And I was just intrigued and fascinated ever since. Um, and even these days with Professor Brian Cox, where many years ago people thought that a solar eclipse was dragons eating the sun, but now we know that it kind of isn't. So I've always loved the science of it and also the great characters who present it. You're just seeing the clockwork of the solar system. Jamie Morland, BBC London.